I crawled yesterday on the Greenway. I enjoyed being with her, but I really didn't enjoy any other part of it. Well, the trees were nice, but, but I know that if I do that long enough, I might be able to actually run with her all the way to the bridge, and that would be an awesome thing. So sometimes God does put us through things that are, that are struggles, but it's just like that little kid with the bale of hay last Sunday. <laughs> it's like, man, when you finally get that thing done, God wants you to be able to go, woo-hoo. Uh, yesterday, uh, we were at the house, and Jack was by the pool, and Jack loves to throw things in the pool. And we are like, no, no, throw it in the little pool, not the big pool. And so he threw over Kenan's head, barely missing Kenan's head, but he threw something over Kenan's head, and it landed in the pool, and he did this. And I thought, yeah, God likes it when we get to feel like that. God's not opposed to us every once in a while getting to go, man, that was awesome. But you're not going to feel if you don't have to make some effort. What if there is more than you currently have? Not, not just money, not just things, not just stuff. But what if there was more joy available for you to have? Would you be interested in having it? Then you need to give God a chance this week. Say, hey, vine dresser, this is one of your branches from the vineyard. The vineyard is all the Christians that are scattered all over the world. I'm one of your branches reporting for duty. And, and, and God, today I give you permission. If something's keeping me down here out of the sun, out of the, the, the flow of nourishment, out of the reach of the rabbits of the world, God, you have my permission, and I'd actually like to ask you to lift me back up on the trellis and put me back where I'm supposed to be. And God, if, if there's some things you need to prune in my life because you want to make me more fruitful, sign me up. And I trust you because you're a good gardener, a good father. I trust you that it'll be worth whatever, whatever it costs initially. And then just give him an opportunity. Spend time with the vine dresser this week. Listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is speaking to us. He speaks to us through the word. He speaks to us through prayer. He speaks to us through visions. He speaks to us through dreams. He speaks to us through other Christians. And guess what? He can even speak to us from evil kings or corrupt politicians. Not that all politicians are corrupt. He is not corrupt. He's a good vine dresser. Father God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for each of these people here. I do pray a special blessing. It's been kind of warm in here today. But God, I pray that something that you have spoken today through me would touch the, touch the ear, touch the heart, that the Holy Spirit would be ministering these things. Because I know that not every person here has full joy capacity yet. Matter of fact, none of us do. None of us have pure love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I look forward to the day when we have more and more and more. We look more and more like you. We resemble you more and more and more. God, we look forward to that day. Holy Spirit, walk with us this week. Communicate with us. If anyone here is having a hard time hearing from you, Holy Spirit, I pray that you would, that you would, do, do something in their life to, to help them get a glimpse of what it's like so that they can begin to listen to that still, small voice. Father God, if there's anyone here today, and they, they're just not connected. Um, they're not connected to the vine. They're not a branch. They're not even in the vineyard. Holy Spirit, I pray that you administer to their heart. It is you who draws men unto you. We, we put it out there, Father God. We, we are proclaiming the gospel, which is that we must first admit that we are a sinner and that our sin separates us from a holy, holy God. We must believe that Jesus Christ is the only means of salvation to make us be at peace with you. And we must confess with our heart and with our life that Jesus is our Savior and Lord. And believe and we will be saved. I pray that for anyone here today who's not part of the vineyard. And then, God, I just pray that you'd bless again all of those folks who are, who are traveling and, and visiting other churches to, for baptisms and, and just somewhere else, God. Bless them today.
we pray a special blessing on them. And now, God, I pray that you would go with us as we go into fellowship. I pray, Father, that every person here would understand and realize what your expectation for them is, not of them, but for them. Your expectation for them, that they would realize that and that they would have everything you, in, you have in mind to give them this week, every blessing, every opportunity, every, every new piece of fruit, Father, that they would have that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You're dismissed to fellowship.